work. Can I bring something to the table? Yes. Remember I told you I had something that's sort of a bit mind blowing. Yeah. This is a slight longer video. It's about two minutes. But I want you to watch this. Now I'm going to give you the satisfaction of knowing I've done the research behind this. And this is true. Okay, this isn't just someone saying stuff on the internet. This is verified. This is real information, okay? Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it when you say that. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're full of shit. <laughs> You'll understand why. All right. The tortured scientists for centuries, the one that is by far the most bizarre to me is that to this day, we still don't know where eels come from. Or more accurately, how eels make there be more eels. You heard me correctly, we have been to the moon and yet we still do not know how eels sexually reproduce. And even weirder than that, what little we know about the reproductive cycle involves the Bermuda Triangle and I couldn't even make that up. Okay, so freshwater eels, or anguilla anguilla, are really weird creatures. First of all, if you dissect one and you look inside, you will not find sexual organs. There are not eggs, there is not sperm or testicles, there are no sexual reproductive organs that have ever been observed inside of an eel while it's being dissected. Secondly, if you take eels and you put them together, even if you put on Marvin Gaye, they will not have sex with each other. <laughs> we have never observed eels mating in captivity or in the wild. What we do know, and this is where it gets really weird, is that old eels will go from freshwater rivers out into the saltwater ocean, which we'll talk about how crazy that is in a second, then they will go to the Bermuda Triangle, and then new eels will come back. I swear to God I'm not making that up, you can Google this. This is a mystery, by the way, that has plagued humans for a very, very long time. Aristotle, like the famous philosopher, thought that eels spontaneously emerged from mud out of some magical force or something. Also, the transition <laughs> that an eel undergoes between its earliest stage that we know about, the larva stage, and the full-grown adult stage involves so many different metamorphical changes to its body, including its shape and its color and its physical abilities, that for a very long time, people on Earth, like European naturalists, thought that the different stages of eel development were completely different animals, and they didn't put that together for a really long time. Now, of course, we know they're all stages of development of the same Anguilla Anguilla freshwater eel, but still super weird. Also, let's just take a second to talk about how weird it is that eels can go from freshwater to saltwater and back. Basically, no other sea-bearing animal can do that. If you take a normal freshwater fish and throw it in the ocean, it is definitely going to die. This, this tortures me. I lie awake at night thinking about this. I wake up in the morning, first thing I think about, before I even open my eyes, where the fuck do eels come from, okay? <laughs> so now you have to live with this information too. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> You know what he, you know that um, sentence he goes, this has plagued humans for for the longest time. I go, I never thought about it until you started saying this, you <laughs> prick. <laughs> I never thought once where it was come from. <laughs> and I would never think about it again. Really? That doesn't intrigue you, Do CJ? You, no, I know this. Eels are nice to eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't care where I come from. Just get in my belly. In my belly. Um, in my belly. What did you What did you have to say about this, Alexander? First of all, since when did Seth Rogen get into eel conspiracies? Because this guy is like an embodiment of Seth Rogen. The way he talks and everything. Yeah. But I didn't even notice that. Yeah. But seriously, what what's the deal with eels? I've researched this to, like, the whole Bermuda Triangle, all of it's real. How, bearing in mind how intrusive we are with animals and nature and, and in terms of our scientific studies and observations and everything, how do we still not know where they cut? Like, have they not, they must have, the fact that we know that they go to the Bermuda Triangle and all this, they must have followed them and observed them and yet never seen the moment where the new eels spawned. Like, wait, wait, wait. How are is you saying th all eels? These ang angila, angila, whatever they are. These these freshwater eels. You know, it's um having, like, to open up an eel, to open it up and say, 
they don't have a reproduction organ. organ. Or- they have nowhere to put the babies or there's nowhere to for the babies. Like, there's no eggs. Like, how are they doing this? This is this is stupid. This is <laughs> like, do they spit into a hole? I don't understand. Do the do the girls have um uh, something in their spit that they spit into the, and then the men spit into the hole, and then that's how the eels reproduce. And if so, I think you're watching too much porn, mate. What do you what? There's a lot of spitting where there's a lot of spitting where you are. <laughs> but I'm saying two. What is there? Is there a male and female eel? I believe I don't. I, I well, if there's no sex reproductive organs, I guess not. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is this is effed up. This is effed up. I mean, I so, know there's a- a- asexual cells. Is that right? Maybe the, the the eel is male and female, and it has sex with itself, and that's how it reproduces. Isn't that asexual? That's is that what it's called? That's kind of that's seahorses. Seahorses do that. Oh, maybe maybe they're the same as seahorses, mate. But there's evidence, like they know that seahorses do that. And they've seen, like, yeah, I've yeah. seen seahorses give birth. It's weird, but I've seen why it. Why are you watching this? <laughs> why, why are you watching this? Mate, um, I, think, I think you've got a bit too much time on your hands. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's because of the whole seahorses impregnate themselves and then give birth. But the way they give birth, like, it's just a seahorse. And then, like, a, ti- a bunch of tiny little seahorses just shoot out. It's basically yeah. like a seahorse ejaculation. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I like seeing seahorses <laughs> ejaculate. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, so my leading theory wow. or my theory is eels are now the leading species for aliens on earth like that we asteroid know of. hit earth with eels on the surface and now they live here why not is the Bermuda if, Triangle... if something's going to be an alien why not I mean they look alien like or fish look alien like Word. Oh, wait.